Hey y'all, let's rip one outdoors. Hey y'all, grab something and hang on. Let's go for a ride. Let's get everything settled here. Test our brakes. All right, we can get through these bunch of skillet licking dogs. Hey, puppies. Hey, poop. Bark, bark, bark. Bark, bark, bark. All right. Riding with the ripper here. Y'all, it's 71 degrees. Here in South Mississippi. It's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And it's the afternoon. It is 2.53. 71 degrees. I tell you what, I'm not rubbing it in, I promise you. But I'm so thankful how this beautiful weather. We're gonna get out and take a ride. Maybe talk a little bit. I'm trying out some new brakes. Uh, but as part of the, y'all heard me talk on a previous video about, y'all heard me talk about the, uh, uh, pictures that I took for MagiCycle and is in payback for that. Uh, I was given some accessories. One of the accessories was hydraulic brakes for my MagiCycle Cruiser. And I installed them Saturday, this past Saturday, because the weather was so bad it was raining. And haven't had a chance to use them. Wife and I went on a little small vacation. I guess it's more or less just a run up to Tennessee. Wanted to pick up some Christmas gifts that you can only find in a certain location in Tennessee. And that was at the Amish Farms in Etheridge, Tennessee. Just north of uh, Lawrenceburg. So we went up there for a day or so and made it back and I'm getting a chance today to go out and and try out my brakes that I put on shout out to uh, Bruce Hicks I put his put his name what have you here I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put his a link to him his channel down in the description but he provided the instructions on how to put the brakes on it was a flawless operation didn't hey it didn't take me too long maybe if, i guess if you you totaled the time that i worked on it other than the time i wasn't doing something else i mean i must have spent an hour working on them because his instructions were so clear and concise that I didn't have anything to worry about. Let me get my rear view camera turned on here. 
now we can see that's a no-no taking off riding without having my rear view camera on so anyway Bruce he had done some of the brakes and I'm sorry Bruce that I didn't record them to tell you the truth I'm just getting into recording things like that uh, anything other than the rides right along the ride alongs are easy I just punch the camera and let her rip but something like that I didn't have anybody to help me hold the camera for me uh, probably had to use my iPhone and it was filled up with stuff I had to delete a bunch of stuff off it so anyway take on a project like that again I will record it but thank you Bruce for the for the help and the, and the know-how that you provide for fellas like myself and others like like me and we take on projects like that I told him I had him in the room with me but I just didn't have to feed him because I had him going on my desktop I had brought my my uh, Magicycle cruiser up in the up in my uh, hobby room and that's where I was working on them at So thank you to him for that the brakes they are they are super good let's see y'all want to give them a shot here we go five four three two one there you go check it out very very nice thank you magicycle for the brakes thank you bruce for the know-how help me put them on uh, also shout out to Russ is right I, I went I went back and forth I went and looked at his video a little bit too he has uh, of course he refers you back to Bruce himself but between the two of them they did a good job I'll put Russ's uh, information on the bottom of the screen uh, on the in the description there also link to his channel so brakes yeah them brakes work good get my camera make sure my camera's got the right angle maybe that's better if it ain't then I'll see it and know better next time but we had a new video come out today and it was uh it was showing some riding that I did down in the uh over in the dirt pits right down the road there so if y'all haven't caught that yet make sure you watch that I hope y'all enjoy that wasn't anything special look this thing can handle a lot I can tell you and there wasn't much in that dirt pit that could pose any any sort of a challenge to it I'm gonna stop at the boat coming back out but there was not much to stop it I mean yes yeah, a little small hills in there there were some ruts there were some little small hills with ruts rough territory uh, some bumpy stuff hey this thing this thing didn't have any problem with that you would have to go you would have to go and find something that was that would pose a bigger challenge to find something that it would even remotely come close to slowing this thing down or stopping it I haven't got there's nothing around here as we said on the video this is Mississippi and I'm gonna say South Mississippi 
because we don't have mountains down here we don't have hills if there's a hill down here it's a man-made hill such as over at the dirt pits coming down along by the cap pen here hopefully y'all can see how how pretty it is not a cloud in the sky We're going to ride along down here about the old usual turnaround place. Do us a quick U-turn. Then come on back out. Equipment. Recording equipment. I've been experimenting with different microphones and things like that. I mean, you know, I look at I look at people like uh, other people that are making recordings, like like Bruce and like Russ, and maybe like Citizen Cycle, people like that. I wish I knew what they know. I wish I didn't have to go through all the uh, trials and experimentations with equipment. To try to find out what works best but that's the way I do it I, I when I first started making these videos I didn't have uh, an external microphone and I was using just the microphone on the GoPro but I got the GoPro and I said well can't afford anything go as far as going towards the mics or anything like that, so we'll try that well I did and I got a couple of comments and you know it says hey we can't hear you you need to do something and there was only one thing to do and that, to me that was go with an external microphone uh, some of the some of the YouTube guys said that they use an external or a, uh, a digital audio recorder with like a, a lavalier, uh, is that what you call it? Lavalier mic that hooks on your collar up here. And they use something like that. And they would even run a mic that was hooked up by their helmet up there somehow. So I, did, I decided I would go with an external mic plugged in to the GoPro well you can't plug a microphone into the GoPro direct because of all this proprietary stuff with GoPro you have to have their so-called uh, adapter hey y'all I was gonna show y'all something here this old boat here this is the Edmund Fitzgerald. I bet y'all didn't know that. You heard that old song by the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald? Well, there you go. It wrecked right here. And nobody's ever come and cleaned it up. Seriously, somebody come here and dumped that boat. And I guess the county finally just gets tired of picking up junk. So, they left it. Maybe one day the bushes will grow up high enough that you won't see it and look somebody dumps their old pallets over here and they're all they're all they're hydraulic oil cans and that's fresh that's fresh that's just freshly been dumped it, it what's the mindset of people that just trash up a place i mean yeah it's ridge road okay he's just old home sites there's no sense in doing stuff like that we used to do things like that when we was young, but that was before we knew better. I wouldn't dare. I don't even throw a gum wrapper out the, out the truck now. But this old, these old pallets here, they could be burned. But I tell you what we're going to do. Just for fun. The tent comment. The person who makes the tent comment on the boat, they get them a free boat. They get the Edmund Fitzgerald. How about that? And you could just come on down here and get it. 
call me I'll run over here and load it up help you load it up I got tractor I can load it up with my tractor how about that we just give a boat away on the rip one outdoors channel and you witnessed it hey tenth comment that's what it takes yeah boy getting back to uh, equipment so I got a I, I bought a uh, a Movo Movo mic external mic and I hook it up and that's what I'm using now y'all it does real good but there is one problem if you don't have that that little uh, if you don't have that little bullet connector or whatever it is there that little round connector if you don't have that shoved all the way up in that my uh, GoPro adapter mic adapter it will not re it will not record your audio and all that time you spend over here making videos it won't pick it up then so I tried to movo I mean it does good but I said okay what if I get a lavalier because it's smaller and I can clip it on my collar and maybe it'll work better so I bought I didn't pay much for it maybe 15 bucks something like that so I bought one and I hooked it up and uh, it does okay y'all but it's a little muffled and I don't know if there's any way to clear that up or not or play, maybe a better place to mount it uh, boy there's a big old deer tracks y'all y'all see that right there deer tracks hey I believe deer season opened uh, this past Saturday so if them deer there knows what's good for them they get on down the country look at there deer tracks so we're back to the movo now we got it we got it kind of jerry rigged we got it kind of jerry rigged on our uh on our chest mount where we mount our gopro i used a we i used to be in uh remote control airplane still still fool with that a little bit but i do more quadcopter stuff now drone flying but i took a a a tail wheel adapter arm and i made me a little thing that comes up up above the uh maybe when i get back i'll take my cell phone take a picture of it and i'll put it up here for y'all to look at but that's what i use now and it puts this movo phone a movo uh, uh, microphone it puts it right under my chin and it's got that old hairy feathery thing or whatever with that rabbit hair i think is what it is or possum hair or coon hair or whatever it is it's got that it's got that on it and i first tried it with something and it was it had that that hair touching on my chin and i said yeah I was kind of looking like one of them old hippies that was on the uh, Beverly Hillbillies. So I took that off and I, ch I, I rigged it up another way. But I, it's what I got going now. I think it sounds good. Y'all let me know how it sounds. And if there's any way, uh, uh, after you look at the picture or whatever, if there's any way that I can improve it, let me know. Or would I just be better off going with an audio recorder? If I gotta do that, then I gotta save up a few pennies. There's the other old boat, that's the Mena. Hey, it's still there. We gave it away last, what, last week sometime? And nobody's ever come and got it. It's still there. Just go over there and, hey, put you somebody in the boat and let them paddle it back or put a rope on it and drag it back. 
I'm sure the people that own the land will appreciate it. So we've seen the Edmund Fitzgerald. And we've seen the Mena. Two boats. How about that big Komatsu right there? I like to how that thing. So that's my recording equipment that I wanted to tell y'all about. I mean, and like I say, I'm still using a GoPro. I use a GoPro Hero 8. It's mounted on my chest. You got to watch out how you mount it on your chest for you newcomers or I, I see people and I even mentioned it on a man's site and he said he appreciated me telling him that but I mentioned and I, and I was being constructive about it that he had his camera angle pointed down too far yes he could see the dis digital display here and all that was good you can see that but you could only see about here of the of the uh the forward view and i told him i said you know people would appreciate it i think more i think they would appreciate it more if you if you angled it up a little bit that's why i have to watch that's why i have to watch y'all this is rough through here i have to watch sometimes about what my angle is on this on my camera and I, I can't get down there to it y'all it's kind of rough and it's kind of wet but there's the third boat down there it's flipped upside down hey what we gonna call that one we got the Mena we got the Edmund Fitzgerald was that the Titanic <laughs> is that the Titanic you tell me three boats three boats here and this what son this was a place to haul off boats there for a while wasn't it hey y'all we're gonna shut her down we got all three boats showed to y'all we told y'all about some recording stuff we're gonna take another little ride here shortly and we'll record that for you but uh we'll shut her down for now and uh, we appreciate y'all y'all watching and we appreciate the new viewers that have just started watching and have mentioned mentioned to us that they've just started watching and that they that they appreciate what we do and they appreciate how we ride and uh, uh, the manner of the speech that we have and everything and I, and I appreciate I appreciate y'all so hey tune in next time Give us a like and a subscribe if you will. And if you don't, that's okay. We're going to get on down the road, y'all. Catch you on the flip-flop.